It's the Lord Bayou. The one, the only, the magnificent, big boy, Ginger. Okay, 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 you can go. Say hi, though. Just say hi to everyone. Please? Okay. Well, we're back, and we are going to continue the wonderful story that is School of Secrets. I'm wearing my roses dress with, like, little frills. I was out on a barbecue. It's one of the last nice days of summer, and it's so sad because, honestly, there was, like, no summer in London, and I have, like, cat hair all over me. Anyway, thank you guys for being patient and waiting for my uploads. I am currently going on a huge, like, uh, upheaval of my channel. I want to figure out what I want to do. I have a lot of work, I have a lot of traveling, so I just don't know where my channel is going, but I do know that I want to continue posting and being active and uh, keeping you guys up to date on my life and um, I guess by association, Gloom's life because she's fine, guys. Don't worry. Uh, she's doing good, living her life in Canada, so yeah. Now, we are going to continue the wonderful story, like I said, School of Secrets, where we are a commoner girl who gets admitted into this prestigious boarding school that is full of that is full of mysteries and secrets and we have two beautiful handsome fellas fighting for our attention so what's gonna happen now this is chapter five of school of secrets and in case you guys are wondering this is Lord Brian's Instagram my Instagram our TikTok give this video a like and let's go Oh, also guys, just a quick little thing. Please comment and like. It helps the engagement for my channel, for my videos, by pushing it out there. So, you know, throw your girl a bone and let's do it. It's daytime. Are you sure you want to skip the day? Yeah, I'm sure. If I go, I'll be paranoid all day that the blackmailer is about to reveal my secret. Tapta, you don't have to worry. I'll fight them. People tend to forget about drama. I'm sure they won't reveal themselves. I mean, I'll fight them for you. No, Gora. I don't feel too well today. You go. Okay, so you have lunch? Mm-hmm. Oh, there I am with Garrett. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Six Wings. Are we working on our unsolved mystery cases today? Not exactly. Today, you'll be going to the library to investigate the history of St. Sebastian. Ooh! You already have partners, so you can use a superior to start your research. Investigating the history of St. Sebastian. That is perfect. I might be able to find something about the founder's past, just like we wanted. Only now we'll get to investigate with Garrett, too. Our boo, our bae. I wonder why we're researching about the school all of a sudden. Don't you think it's weird that Miss Sixwing suddenly changed the schedule? I asked her before we left and she said it's important for every student to be aware of the school's legacy. Interesting. I love her way of teaching. It's so unique and refreshing. It's definitely interesting, that's for sure. Come on, let's see if we can find any books on St. Sebastian's history. I know where to find books on the founders, but what if what Stefan said is true? I don't want Gary to be in danger for looking too closely at something that someone wants to keep hidden. Maybe I should try to keep him away from anything founder related. I don't think so. I think you should know better than anyone because he's the one that was warning you against it. Okay, I'll look on the left and you look on the right. Right? What's this? The Sebastian Brink's wife was called Agatha. Isn't that the name on top of this blackmail note? That can't be a coincidence. Ooh. Hey. Oh my gosh, Steven. You need to stop sneaking up on me. <laughs> my bad. What are you looking for? Believe it or not, I actually have a school project now to look into St. Sebastian's history. How convenient. <laughs> Gora? Garrett, where did you come from? I swear, everyone keeps startling me lately. We're working on a project together, remember? Unless I'm interrupting something. Ooh, jealous. No, actually, you kind of are. Right. Hm. Is he actually leaving us? Garrett, wait. Why did you say that? Sorry, I panicked. You don't want him to know about our investigation, do you? Uh, that's a lie. You know it. No, but I should go and check on him now. Honey bunny, where are you? Garrett? What? Really, you're not even going to look at me? I'm sorry Stephen was rude, but- Forget it, Gora. I don't know what I was expecting anyway. You're allowed to flirt with whoever you want. Flirt? You think I was flirting with Stephen? Were you not? Um, no. You know when I'm flirting, which is all I do with you. Like, so rude. Huh, <laughs> whatever. This is the most worked up I've seen Garrett about anything. Surely he's not bothered by the idea of me liking Steven. Garrett, what's going on into you? Are you jealous? So what if I, are you jealous? Like, really? Is that why you're acting even pricklier than normal? I'm not jealous. Right, of course not. I'm not. Annoyed though, yeah. I thought we were working on this project together, but as soon as we got here, you skipped off to flirt with someone else. I don't want to be left with all the work. Right. But when his eyes met mine, his guard slips exposing the vulnerability behind it. Garrett? Garrett? Is that really how you feel? I know that's not the whole truth. You don't have to push me away. I'm gonna say you don't have to push me away. You just don't. Just tell me what's bothering you. I've never seen you let anything get to you like this before. Oh, 
Yeah, tell us, Garrett. It's you, Gora. Me? What did I do? You get to me. Uh, okay. You irritate me. You infuriate me. So you don't like me? Kidding. And no matter how much I denied it to myself, you've consumed all of my thoughts since the moment I met you. <gasps> Little me? I'm sorry, Gora. I was jealous. I guess I was just looking forward to spending more time with you today and thought that you'd gone with a better offer. Uh, impossible. Opening up to Garrett and address the connection between you. Garrett! Let Garrett know how you feel about him. Reassure Garrett that you weren't abandoning him. Say that he should grow up and back the F off. And we're gonna let him know how we feel. I haven't been able to stop thinking about you either. Really? Mm-hmm. You're also pretty infuriating like that. True. But seriously, you have no reason to be jealous, Garrett. I'm here with you, aren't I? I would never abandon you and leave you hanging like that. I'm definitely not interested in flirting with anyone else right now. Least of all, Steven. Good to know. So, like, can we just be official and call it a day? How do you know him, anyway? Um, we met here when I was researching something. Really? What? I trust Garrett and I want to share this with him. Besides, he's Garrett Forbes, and I can't picture him ever getting involved in something he wouldn't know how to get out of. True. Well, I heard some rumors about the founders of St. Sebastian that I wanted to look into. I came here a few nights ago to do some of my own research and found Steven looking into the same thing. We've decided to work together and try to find out what really went on with the founders. What? I know, it's crazy, right? What a coincidence. We think that someone, probably one of the founders' descendants, is doing everything they can to stop people from finding out the truth. People have been suspiciously expelled and- Gora, stop. What are you getting yourself into? If what you say is true, you could be putting yourself in danger by looking into it. I'll be fine, Garrett. Really? Where's your confidence coming from? from steven and i will be careful and how do you know you can trust him if you get caught how do you know he won't use it as a, as a scapegoat true those people are powerful gora you don't want to get caught up in something that's a lot bigger than you and end up in trouble you can't get out of it <sighs> you're right garrett this is bigger than me it's bigger than all of us but this has gone beyond just me wanting to prove myself or my own curiosity if tabitha's blackmailer is using the founder's wife's name there must be a connection there there must i'm sorry garrett but i need to know the truth you're a Annoyingly stubborn, you know that? Are you gonna protect us? I do. <sighs> Fine, but just be careful, Gora. Thanks. I mean it. Thank you for telling me that. Because if you didn't, I was literally gonna go and risk my life left and right. Willy nilly, you know? Gary Forbes, are you worried about me? Of course I am. Who knows what you're getting yourself into? You know, I'm a danger for Matt. A mag danger magnet. <laughs> for magnets what? what is going on and i i don't want anything to happen to you oh sweetums sounds like you care about me he just said he did i do gora did my declaration of your permanent residence and my thoughts not make that clear enough it did and i really like the way you said it i suppose it did okay they're too cute i care about you too garrett and i'll be careful i promise good although although i wouldn't let anything happen to you anyway oh there we go you're finally telling me you're gonna protect me Finally. Yeah? Well, then. Shucks. The way that Garrett's looking at me. Is he about to kiss me? Gora. Kiss me, you fool. I really want to kiss you. Mm-hmm. Do it. So is that a yes? Uh, take control, make out with Garrett. Say yes and kiss him. I don't need to control. Let him do it. Yes, Garrett. Kiss us. As soon as a word passes through my lips, Garrett captures them into his in a soft kiss. He takes control. Our kiss is intensifying as I cling onto him. And it's not long until my head is spinning and I'm completely at his mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Garrett. Garrett. Gora. With every passing moment, our kiss grows more passionate. Dude, we're in a library. We're in a public space. Until breathless, he breaks the spell between us, pulling back to meet my eyes. Gora. That was... Wow. Phenomenal. I know. Oh, I know. Next day. Okay, move faster. I need to know. Oh, I love her outfit. Oh my gosh. It's so weird being at school without Tabitha. Oh, Nick. Hey. Uh, hey, you. Is everything all right? Hey, Gora. I know everything isn't all right. What happened? Are you feeling okay? It still isn't. Are you feeling okay? Not quite. Well, spill the beans. I found this in my bag after gym class. What is it? <gasps> St. Ethan's estate is on the verge of going bankrupt. It's only fair that you become Stella's pet now, Agatha. Uh, what now? Oh no, Nick! You're being blackmailed? What does this mean? Who do you think it could be? I'm gonna say, who do you think it could be? Huh? It's clearly someone who knows everything about me. I knew this place was messed up, but I never thought someone I trusted would do this. You think it's someone close to you? It has to be, else how would they know about my family? Hmm. 
I'm so sorry, Nick. Did you tell anyone else about the note? No, and I don't think I'm going to. I'm struggling to trust anyone right now except you, Gora. What makes me the exception? I'm literally like the most least trustworthy person that looks like that goes to the school right now. I'm a new student. Clearly, you can't trust me. You're the only person I can let in. Aw, Nick. I'm here for you. We'll get to the bottom of this. We'll get to the bottom of this. I won't let someone come after you. My little snow puff. I can't believe someone would do this to Nick, the sweetest guy ever. The blackmailer knows everyone's deepest secrets. Whoever they are, they must have a lot of power. Well, now you know. My family situation isn't great right now. That's also part of what makes my relationship with Stella so complicated. My family has been doing a pretty good job of keeping our financial situation a secret. But when Stella and I started dating, she found out. She even tried to use it against me to stop me from breaking up with her. It looks like the blackmailer now has the same idea. What? She tried to buy you? My Nick. It made removing her from my life nearly impossible. Nick, if Stella knows and has used it against you in the past, do you think the note could be from her? I doubt it. She's more of the threat in you to your face type. That's true. Anyway, I don't want to think about either Stella or the note right now. I just want to take my mind off all of it. Well then, I can definitely help you with. And I know just the thing. Hmm, should I be worried? You tell me. How about we go do something off campus together? Something that's completely out of your comfort zone. Ooh, more skinny dipping. What's the wildest thing that you've always wanted to do but never had the courage? Well, there's a lighthouse just off of campus. It's kind of notorious for students sneaking off there on dates and climbing to the top. Dates, huh? I'm pretty sure she's like basically taken though. But he didn't ask us to be exclusive, so. Sounds perfect. Perfect. Have you taken someone there before? I never got the chance. The lighthouse was closed and us students aren't allowed to go there anymore. But I've always imagined taking someone special to the top. Well then, say less. Not Stella? Definitely not Stella. But someone else has caught my attention lately. Well, say less. Then we should go. Really? But what if we're caught? We won't be, but just in case we are, you can blame it all on the rebellious new girl who's a horrible influence on you. The worst. Absolutely terrible. Come on, Nick. Let let me show you that it's okay to not be perfect all the time. Let me be your bad influence. Okay, let's do it. Have some quality time alone with Nick. This is my chance to see another side of Nick and deepen the connection between us. I should give Nick a day he won't forget at the romantic lighthouse. Have an adventure with Nick as you grow closer. Leave him with no support during his lowest moment. Let's go. What are we waiting for? Let's get out of here. Ooh. How are you feeling, Nick? Better? Scared? It's not too late to back out and keep your golden boy image intact. I don't think you would let me back out now even if I wanted to. You know me so well. Now, come on. We have a very romantic climb ahead of us. 15 minutes later and only halfway up. Oh my gosh. Whew, who knew there'd be so many steps? Who knew it has such bad breath control? I'll have to get you out of the lacrosse field sometime to work on that stamina. I don't know. I'm sure we can think of some other activity that's good for stamina. Oh my gosh, she's a naughty one. <laughs> Racy to the top. Wow, way to drop that bombshell and go. This view. I can see why this was such a popular spot for dates. It's so romantic, Nick. I know. I'm glad I get to finally see it. And all thanks to you. I wouldn't go that far. It was your idea, remember? But I wouldn't be here without you, Gora. You're the one who gave me the guts to go through with it. True. You bring out this whole other side to me. A good side, I hope. A rebellious baddie. Better than good. My whole life, I felt as though I've been living for other people. Weighed down by their expectations. Whoa. And it's so hard to just cast all of that aside. But you make me feel like I can live my life for me. But what about me? I'm a selfish creature. You make me feel alive, Gora. <gasps> Sweetums. Nick, you make me feel alive too. And I totally get what you mean about people's expectations. When my dad reached out to me, I was so nervous thinking that I would be a disappointment to him. So much that I've been trying to prove myself to him by fitting in here ever since. You call that fitting in? Like whatever you're doing, it's the opposite of fitting in. But you make it all so easy, Nick. You make me feel like this is where I belong. It's true, he's very good to us. Like I'm home with my brother. Kidding. Oh my God, another kiss. Gora. Yeah, Nick? I, you're amazing. I know. And if it's okay with you. Well, I'd really like to kiss you. Who am I to say no to a second kiss from a handsome boy in a day? It's more than okay with me, Nick. Oh my God, Nick and I are about to have our first kiss. Show Nick how you feel about him with a passionate kiss. Make your first kiss with Nick unforgettable. Tell Nick to stop smothering you, seriously. Let's do it. Oh, Nick leans in cautiously, hesitating slightly before brushing his soft lips against mine until our lips finally connect in a sweet but passionate kiss. Everything around us fades into the background
background. Until all that's left is just him and I and this connection that we have between us. Nick. His kiss is full of longing as he takes his time savoring my lips. Hurry up. Until head spinning and heart fluttering, he pulls back to meet my eyes. I wonder which one of them is a better kisser. Gora. Nick. Wow. I know. Okay, so sweet. So cute. But also, like, naughty girl. That evening. Come on, Gora, focus. This project Miss Six Wings assigned is important. But I can't stop worrying about Nick and Tabitha. I need to put a stop to this blackmail, and that means getting to the bottom of who's behind it. Is Garrett being blackmailed too? Agatha. What could the connection be? Why is the blackmailer using her name? Unless maybe it is just a coincidence. Agatha could mean anything. Hmm. At this rate, I'll never get this research project done. Maybe Miss Six Wings will be able to help me find a starting point to focus on. I should go find her. And I think something bad is gonna happen as she goes. Hey, Cora, how are you? Are you settling in okay? Actually, I was hoping you could help me with the project you assigned. I'm having trouble finding a good place to start with my research. Please. What do you think about looking into the founders of St. Sebastian? That's an interesting angle, Gora. But you might have trouble finding anything about them. Why is that? I notice that there's a lot of secrecy surrounding them. And no one seems interested in talking about it. Hmm. You're right, Gora. There's a lot of secrets at the school. And some of our students, although good, can definitely get caught up in them. But in the end, the truth will always be exposed one way or another. Ooh, I feel like you're trying to lead us astray, teacher. Wait, what? Does Miss Six Wings know something about the founder's shady past? If so, maybe she knows something that could help me figure out whether Agatha is connected to the blackmailer's identity. Either way, I should find out what she knows. The closer I get to uncovering the blackmailer, the sooner my friends can get back to their lives. Find out what Miss Six Wings knows, so miss the opportunity to save your friends. I need to find out who Agatha is and now stat. Get the inside scoop from Miss Six Wings and save your friends. Find out the truth about the founder's dark past and uncover Agatha's history. Let's get the scoop and save our friends. In that case, I have a question. Do you know about Sebastian Rink's wife, Agatha? I do. Tell me. She didn't deserve her fate. Her fate? What happened to her? Have you not heard the rumors about Sebastian, Gora? I heard that he killed someone. <gasps> no. Don't tell me. He killed his wife? So the story goes. The rumor is that he killed Agatha to be with his mistress. But of course, there's no proof of that. Oh my jeez. Do you know why someone might use Agatha's name as an alias? Well, some say it's been used throughout the school's history as a code of sorts. Students supposedly use her name when telling others to follow a moral path. So that's why the blackmailer is using her name as a way to get into Tabitha's and Nick's heads. Thank you, Miss Six Wings. I should get back to my door. Oh my gosh, she looks worried for us. Hey, babe. Hey, did you find any new information? I think so, but I'm still working on it. Whoever the blackmailer is, they know how to play this well. Thank you for trying, Cora. I just spoke to my mom. She said there's no way of knowing when Dad will be released from jail. I can't skip any more classes. I guess I'll just have to pray the blackmailer doesn't reveal my secrets. Don't worry, Tabitha. We'll just find their identity soon enough. Whoever it is, they're among us, watching every step of every student. We'll find them. Okay next day. I'm so glad to see you back, Tab. Time to show the blackmailer that you aren't to be messed with. I wish you were in our history class. We have the coolest project ever. Miss Sixmas is honestly the coolest teacher I've ever had. She's awesome, right? I had her for history last year. I can totally understand why she's your favorite teacher. This is me. I'll see you at lunch. I feel like something bad might happen to her. Of course. Hey. Hi. Guess what? I made some notes for our research project. Damn, look at you being the perfect student. Let's take a look at them on our free period. Okay. <gasps> Isn't it odd Miss Six Wings is never late to class? Oh my god, is our teacher missing? You're right. Good morning, class. I'm Mr. Kingsnorth, your new history teacher. You're our new history teacher? What about Miss Six Wings? When will she be back? Miss Six Wings won't be coming back. What? <gasps> Le gasp. Guys, oh, the mysteries are starting to pile on now. We need to know what's gonna happen in the next chapter. We were very naughty because we made out with two guys. No one, but two, and they're both wonderful fellas. So let me know who you think we should try to flirt and schmooze to. Schmooze, schmooze, not schmooze, because I really need a schmooze right now. I really need a nap. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a huge like if you did. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later.